In this video, we're going to be taking a look at official SteamOS 3.8 running on a single board computer, otherwise known as an SBC. Now, usually with these boards, it's powered by an ARM chip. But this one's much different because this is an x86 powered SBC. We've actually got an AMD Ryzen chip. And last year, a company sent this over. It's a prototype known as the Next SBC. They were supposed to launch an Indiegogo, but they kind of fell behind in production. And now I guess they're making boards for mini PCs. But what we've got here is a pretty powerful little system. It's got 32 gigs of RAM and it's powered by the AMD Ryzen 7840HS. RAM is running at 6400 megahertz in this thing. We can do up to around 60 watts on that APU. And with that 7840HS, we've got the 780M iGPU. So 12 compute units based on RDNA 3. So basically the same iGPU we see over in the Z1 Extreme. But with this, we can reach those maximum clocks more often because it does run up to that 60 watt TDP. And obviously, I mean, it's super tiny. Up front, we've got USB 4, couple USB 3.2 ports, round back, dual HDMI, dual gigabit ethernet, and three M.2 slots on the bottom. So we can add a ton of storage here, but I'm just going to be running from a single one terabyte drive. Now, in order to get this installed, I'm just using the Steam Deck recovery image and I've updated to SteamOS Hollow 3.8. And here it is. So yeah, this actually installed without a hitch, just running from a one terabyte drive that I've installed in this little board. Uh, we've got access to everything we need here, just like we would on the Steam Deck or any other system powered by SteamOS. Go with that large performance overlay if we want to. I'm gonna leave it right there for now. Uh, disable the frame limiter. I'm connected to a VRR display, so we've got access to that and HDR. I've turned it off. Uh, recording with it is a little hit or miss, so I've just disabled it for now. Half rate shading. When it comes to TDP limit, I'm gonna be relying on the BIOS here. Manual GPU clock can be set from here up to 2700 megahertz because we've got that Radeon 780M. I'm gonna leave this off so it'll automatically handle it. Not too bad. I mean, it's actually a really nice little system. Heading into our settings, I'll show you. OS update channel, I'm set to main. Steam Deck stable with developer options enabled. So if we move down, you can see we're at Steam OS Hollow 3.8. We've got that AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS. Up to 5.1 gigahertz, eight cores, 16 threads, 32 gigs of LP DDR5 at 6400 with this unit. And of course the AMD Radeon 780M iGPU. I've dedicated eight gigs of VRAM, but it's showing up as 13 here. And I'm not sure if it will allocate up to 13, but I'm controlling that from the BIOS, just like I am with the TDP. And display, I'll show you down here, HDR. We can enable it from here. And I'm at 1920 by 1080, 120 hertz due to my game capture, but it'll go up as much as your monitor will allow you to go up. Now, obviously the main thing a lot of people would use this for is gaming, but we've also got a full desktop. So if I press my home button, head to power, switch to desktop, and the great thing is we could use this just like we would any other desktop system. So it's running Linux. If you've used any operating system, you know exactly what to do here. We've got our menu right down here. You wanna watch some YouTube videos? No problem at all. I mean, we've got plenty of power, even for 4K 60 HDR playback on this system here. It does have Discover. So if you didn't wanna use Terminal to install anything through Linux, we've got tons of applications that we can download directly from here. Really easy install. Uh, if we wanna go to, let's say, games, Get some standalone emulators right here, PSP, tons of stuff. I've installed a few applications. Uh, so for like photo editing, GIMP, basically free open source Photoshop. And uh, we can even install some new AI plugins here that uh, help with upscaling. I personally love using GIMP here in Linux. Video editing, I did install, I think Kaden Live, did I? Yeah, right here. So uh, video editing directly on this system. We'll just go ahead and import this real quick. We can drag it right on the timeline. And with this setup, I mean, 1080 is really great. You wanna do some 4K, I would stick to 4K 24, 4K 30, 1080, 60 all day long. But it's definitely a snappy system and you could get by using this as your everyday desktop with SteamOS installed on this little board. 
we're really here for gaming, so we're going to head back over to gaming mode. With that out of the way, let's get into some gaming here, and we're going to start out with, let's do Oblivion Remastered. This is one of those games that gives every iGPU a run for its money, and right now we're at 900p low with FSR frame gen on. But uh, one thing you know I usually notice is a lot of ghosting. There is some with the sword. If you keep an eye on it, you'll definitely see it. But it's not as prominent as it is on a lower wattage APU like this. Just really hoping for a great update that'll allow us to get a little better frame gen performance out of this, because when it comes down to it, I mean, these iGPUs really need it. But with it enabled, in the outdoor open exploration, we're seeing an average of around 72. And in areas where there's not a ton of draw distance going on, indoors and some areas around the gate, we're seeing averages in the mid 90s. Overall, not too bad, and it is a pretty playable experience here. Next up, Borderlands 3 1080 Medium, and we're at 100% resolution scale. I was actually really impressed by this because recently, within the last couple months, I've been noticing a lot of issues with iGPUs in this game, but it seems to run really well on this system, even when there's a lot of particles on screen. Looking at an average of around 78 FPS. You know, I had to test out Cyberpunk 2077, and I'm not very impressed with the performance here. I actually dropped it down to 900p. We're using the Steam Deck preset, which is kind of a high-medium mix going on. But usually, on this iGPU, I can run this game at 1080 Steam Deck preset and see the same kind of average that we're getting right now. If we drop it down to low, go up to 1080, we can see an average of around 73 FPS. Or, if you wanted more out of it, we can use FSR Frame Gen. But I figured I'd just show you the Steam Deck preset at 900p, and while it's not horrible, I thought we'd get a bit more out of it, especially at this resolution. Doom Eternal 1080 medium, great performance, but I ran into a little bit of a sound issue. It was cutting in and out on me. I stopped the game, went back out, changed my audio device from within Steam OS, but I still had the issue. And I've seen this before on other systems running something like Botocera or even Steam OS. And it doesn't happen all the time. There's a possibility if I would have rebooted the system and just gone back in here, it'd be fine. But right now, the way it is, it keeps cutting in and out. Spider-Man 2 did way better than I thought it would. I mean, given the recent updates to this game, it's just not been performing well at all. We're at 1080 medium settings, albeit we are using FSR frame gen, but you know, if you've tested this on an iGPU, you know, that's kind of where it's at, unless you want to go down to 720p with it. Hitting up an easier to run game, Kingdom Hearts 3, 1080 high. And I thought at high, we'd be able to kind of lock this down at 120. I was really hoping to get on up there. I'd say at 75% resolution scale, 1080, we could do 120 all day long at high settings. But either way, I mean, it's fully playable like it is. We're seeing averages in the high 80s, low 90s with this one. And finally, we've got God of War Ragnarok 1080 low with FSR frame gen, and this game does work amazingly on the 780M. Basically, any RDNA 3 iGPU, I've been able to run this over 60 FPS, especially with frame gen enabled. Definitely my favorite port so far from PlayStation.
Overall, seeing some great performance given the form factor here of this SBC, but it is packing quite a bit of power with that 7840HS. There are other x86 SBCs out there, but for the most part, I mean, they're running lower end Intel chips. It would have been really nice if they could have launched this on Indiegogo properly. But unfortunately, I mean, I guess they kind of underestimated what it would take to do something like this with that Ryzen chip. But either way, since I already had the prototype, I figured we'd test out SteamOS. And as you saw, I mean, it does work really well. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If there's anything else you want to see running on this thing, just let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.